Welcome to Bullseye CO2 Review. Today we're going to be checking out the Daisy Powerline 5501. It's a metal frame, metal slide pistol with a 15 shot BB clip and it does have the blowback action. The specifications on it is CO2 powered semi-automatic blowback, 0.177 BB. The sights are blade and ramp in the front and fixed open rear sight, 15 shot BB clip, safety is a manual trigger block, the barrel is smooth bore steel, the maximum velocity is 430 feet per second which is pretty good, uh, maximum shooting distance 209 yards, the overall length of the pistol is 6.8 inches and the weight they say is one pound, but it does feel heavier than one pound to me so I brought my little scale out I'm gonna take a, a measurement on that and uh, we'll see if that's true because it feels more like a real pistol it feels more like it's in like the one and a half pound range somewhere in there um, it does come with the instructions most all the Daisy BB guns that come with the instructions some targets they're really little targets so you're probably going to want to get some bigger targets but it's something to start out with you can always tape it to a cardboard box and stuff an old pillow in the box and use that to get shooting right away and i guess it's warranty information things like that in there uh, let's see what this thing goes way in at i'm gonna set my scale ounces and let's see what we got 23.15 so yeah 16 ounces in a pound so we're looking at one point one pound seven ounces so almost a pound and a half one one pound eight ounces would be a pound and a half so yeah that's it's very robust you know what I mean it feels like a real pistol um, it's got the metal slide, the whole metal frame. I do like the silver finish on the frame. That's uh, it's kind of nice. I like that, and it goes good with the the black, the black and silver, and this nice looks. So the it feels like these levers. These are all metal. This feels plastic. The slide release, the triggers plastic. The grips are plastic, but for the most part. It's a lot of a lot of metal. Uh, it weighs, like I said, it weighs pretty good. I like a, a pistol that has a little bit of mass. You know, my all plastic BB guns. I got the uh, uh, a Daisy, maybe the 515 or something like that, and it's all plastic, and uh, it's a little less than a pound. It, it works nice. It shoots good. The target, uh, the sights are good. Just a little light. And uh, I seem to be leaning back, leaning toward the, uh, the blowback pistols too, since I started. Uh, I seem to enjoy that, having that little bit of realism. But it's got some nice features on it. On the back of the pistol, it's got a little indicator to show you whether the gun is cocked or not. And it also has a switch on the back, they call it decocker. If you push that switch forward, it decocks the gun. So that way you don't leave it sitting around cocked and you don't have to pull the trigger to decock it. So that's that's kind of cool and that, that light sh shows up as soon as you as soon as you hit the slide back it cocks the pistol. So yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Uh, it does uh, lock in the open position. I got the let me release this slide here. The spring catch on the slide when it goes all the way to the top that's what pushes this lever up and locks it in the open position uh, if you don't have the magazine in there it it won't lock in the open position so just keep that in mind when you get done shooting the magazine's empty you'll you'll know because the slide goes into the rear position um, next button in the front is the safety uh, if you Push it in the rear, that's safe is on. Push it forward, you'll see a red dot and a little letter F. That means you're in the fire position. So it snaps back and forth pretty well and it doesn't feel like it's gonna move by itself. You're, you're gonna have to 
make a point to move it. So that way that's where you, when you got it to save, you can pretty much count it's gonna stay there. But you always wanna make sure that it's in safe before you go putting your cartridge in or your BBs in, put it in a safe position. Like I said, there's a magazine release right there. It seems to work really well. It seems to function perfectly. Uh, it is a plastic magazine, so you might want to be a little careful with that. It could be a little fragile. You sit down on this thing or drop it, it might crack. But uh, you just push this lever, the uh, spring back, and put it in the notch just like most of the BB guns are with this type of magazine. And it's got a little hole in the top to drop the BBs down into. Uh, it's a pretty good size hole, so it works pretty easily. Most of the time when I'm loading the magazine, I'll put my finger over the end before I release the spring, and that keeps the BB from coming out of the end. Sometimes if you load, when you load the magazine, it'll push a BB or two out the end. Sometimes it'll launch them pretty good and you gotta chase after them. So I usually put my finger over the end. Um, this comes with a cap for the end of the magazine. Um, it's the first one I've seen like that. Um, it snaps right over the end of the magazine and keeps the BBs from coming out. So if you get a couple of extra magazines, you can put them in your bag or something and keep the cap on it. But also you can put the cap on when you're loading the BBs in there, you can let go of the spring and it'll keep them from coming out also. So you don't necessarily have to hold your finger over the end of it. Um, anyway, it's a little different. I haven't seen one of those yet. Uh, so I thought that was kind of cool. To get to the CO2 cartridge, there's a little notch on the bottom corner of this side of the grip. Just lift up on the grip, and it's got four tabs on there that hold it to the to the side of the pistol. Seems to snap on and off easy enough, but you're going to want to be careful again with the plastic tabs. If you break one of those off, I'm not sure how well this cover is going to stay on the handle. That so you might lose one of your grips if you break the plastic tab. So it's another thing to be careful with with the plastic. Um, but the like I said, the inside of the gun is metal, so that's pretty sturdy. Take your CO2 cartridge, put a little bit of pellet gun oil on the top. They say you should put that, do that every time you load a new cartridge in because it'll lube the seal that it, when it goes up in there. And also it'll take a little bit of that oil when you puncture the top and put that to lubricate the insides of the gun. So you just drop it in there, twist your knob, and it pushes the cartridge up. And when you get to the top, it's about another half a turn, and you'll f hear a little wisp of air, and you'll feel it seat up in there. Now, you don't have to crank down on this knob real hard. Once it goes up in there, that's all you need is just a little snug. Uh, this is plastic. The part inside there looks like metal, the, me the threaded part and the, the uh, little disc that pushes cartridge up. But you could end up twisting this knob too hard and strip the threads inside of that thing and then you're gonna have a hard time putting your cartridges in so anyway it doesn't seem like a big problem it's straightforward uh, I like the way the gun feels it feels really good the sights could use a little, a little, a little bit to be desired um, the front sight has a white dot the rear sights are black they're not marked at all so maybe a couple of dots of fingernail polish or something in the rear might help us to be able to get our sight acquisition a little better. Also, this rear gap in the sight is kind of wide. When you look down the pistol at the front blade, this doesn't fill this gap. The, this gap should be smaller, if you ask me, because when you put this in here, there's an air gap on both sides, so you got room to move your front sight around in between the rear sight. Uh, I like it when they make the rear sight gap when you look down the barrel this fits right in the gap that way you don't have to guess at how centered you are so we'll take it out in the backyard and we'll try it and see how it works out and see how it performs so let's go check it out okay I got a full magazine and a full CO2 cartridge got my safety glasses on 
Let's give this 5501 a try. I'm going to shoot the first few rounds from about five yards and see how the sights work out, see if I'm shooting high or low, and then we'll move it out to 10 yards. Safety off. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Uh, sights look like they're right on. Let me move out to 10 yards and see how we do. Not too bad. Uh, might have been wiggling around a little bit, but uh, yeah, not too bad. Feels nice with that blowback action. Really does. Nice trigger too. Really nice smooth trigger. All right, to wrap up my review on the Daisy Powerline 5501, I'd have to say it's a winner. Um, I really like the the feel of it. I like the weight of it. Uh, I like that it's a blowback action pistol I seem to be gravitating toward those it's kind of neat that it has the uh, decocker in the back so you could actually use this as a training pistol for someone learning to use firearms uh, this would be a real good trainer you could have a little better sights on the back I think maybe a couple of dots of some white fingernail polish or some model paint something like that to lighten the sights up in the rear couldn't hurt uh, it's got a pretty good shot group from 30 feet, 10 yards. Uh, I was getting three to four inch shot group with it. Um, no jams, no misfires, everything operated just the way it's supposed to. Um, it, I got this for $60 on eBay. Um, so it's not really an entry level pistol price wise, but it's not really entry level with the features either I mean it's uh, it's a little above entry level if you've already gotten into the hobby and you know that you are enjoying it this would probably be a good next pistol for to buy so I would say yeah right after say if you got the the 415 from Daisy and you liked it this would be a this would be a good second choice so that wraps up my review for the Daisy Powerline 5501. If you enjoyed this video, uh, click on the like button. Uh, if you want to see the next videos when they come out, click on subscribe and ring that little bell. And thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.